Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the movie Babylon. Babylon is, takes place in Hollywood right as the silent era of films is ending and the talkies are coming in. You know, they can record sound and to go with the movies and it causes a huge disruption in the careers of different people. Brad Pitt plays an actor who is a superstar during silent films. Uh, Margot Robbie plays a young woman who is trying to get into film. And an actor I didn't know, Diego Calva, plays a, a man who just wants to be part of the movies. You know, if it's just as a gopher or assistant or whatever, he wants to be part of it. So it's got a huge cast, you know, like I said, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, Diego Calva, Toby Maguire, Gene Smart, uh, Flea is in it. And they're all good, but the movie is so bad. It was just, oh, such a disappointment. It's directed by, you know, created by Damien Chazelle. He's the guy who did La La Land. Remember that movie? It was about Hollywood. This is blah, blah land. You don't care about it. You don't care about any of the people. You don't care about the characters. It is a crude, gross movie trying to show the seamiest side of Hollywood during this time, and it just falls on its face. You've got to care about the characters. You've got to care about their careers. You've got to care about the interaction between the, the, the characters. You just don't. It, to me, it's one of the worst performances Brad Pitt ever gave, and he won an Oscar not long ago for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or something like that but, you know, that was done. This just did not do it for me. It is rated R for profanity, violence, nudity. I scored it 3 out of 10. That is a low, 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 low score for me. I mean, the cinematography, the staging, you know, you, you can tell a lot of money went into to making it. They can recapture the look of that era, but it is just not interesting at all. I'll give it, I'll give it some points for, for talent, but storyline, you know, the visual effect of the film, just didn't do it. Now, some of you may write and say, oh, I went to see it and it's the best thing I ever saw. You're entitled to your opinion because all it is is my opinion, but it just didn't do it for me. So this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film Babylon 3 out of 10.